outnumbered, but not overpowered. This message is not for everybody. It's specifically for born again Christians who have made a decision. They've drawn a line in the sand and they've dedicated their life to God. They repented for their sins and they turned from them. Obviously, nobody is perfect except for the Lord Jesus Christ, but they've taken their decision to repent seriously and they do not intentionally and repeatedly mock God by going against the promise they made when they repented. And they pray for God for strength. This message is for this particular Christian. When the Bible speaks about the narrow road and to stay on the narrow road, for broad is the road that leads to destruction. I want to share the importance of understanding what that really means. When you're on the narrow road, it's not a narrow road packed full of people where you're all squished together like sardines and the broad road is spaced out and everybody has room and everyone's a unique individual doing their own thing, lots of space. It's actually the other way around. The narrow road is a lonely road at times. There are not a lot of people on this road. It's like a desolate road. And sometimes you find people to walk with you or to you see others around. But it's really more like a road where there's very few passerbys and the only one that you truly are relying on is the Lord Jesus as you travel down this road. Whereas the broad road where many are on, even though it's a broad road, it's packed. That's the road that's packed like a can of sardines. There are many people who have a lot in common with each other on that broad road. Where, for the person that is walking on the narrow path, it's a very lonely feeling sometimes. We are outnumbered. You can look in a room, let's say you're in a place that's crowded full of people, and if there are 200 people in that area, you could be one of two or the only one that is walking this narrow path. That includes many of the modern churches. Um, if you're at school, your place of employment, your neighborhood, the gym that you attend. The narrow road is a lonely road and we are outnumbered, but we are not overpowered. This message is a message of encouragement because it's a very lonely path and if many people who are on this narrow road understood how lonely it can feel at times, that's why we must read our word, get in the word of God, and we must stay in constant communication with God, silently praying throughout the day to remind ourselves and to continue to encourage ourselves in the Lord, because it can be very lonely. There are many people who are involved in blatant, witchcraft and Satanism, but most of the people on the broad road are what they would consider neutral or lukewarm Christians. Someone on the narrow road would seem very strange and awkward to someone that's walking on the broad road. Even a lukewarm Christian could look at an on fire Christian as someone who is weird or strange because when you're on fire for God and you've made a decision and you've drawn that line in the sand and you've decided not to cross that line and you only rely on God's grace for times of weakness but God is strengthening you every moment of the day when you've done that 
One of the loneliest places is in communication with someone who claims to be a Christian with another Christian, but a lukewarm one. The reason for this message is to encourage those who are on the narrow path that just like Satan <clears throat> took a third of the angels with him when he revolted against God Almighty, we have two thirds of the angels on our side. So we, children of God, may seem on the surface that we are outnumbered. But in the spiritual realm, we have two thirds of the angels on our side. We have God Almighty on our side, the creator, the master of all things on our side. We are on the side of the powerful side. But on the physical realm, it can feel lonely and it can feel like we're overpowered. But we're not. Stay encouraged, please. Cry if you need to. Cry out to God when you need to. I do it. God is my strength. God is my source of any power that I have. And as you may hear the raindrops, especially on a gray, rainy day, we need to encourage ourselves in the Lord and remind ourselves that we are on the right side. We are on the right team, Team God Almighty. And it seems on the surface that we're outnumbered. But even on the physical level, we're not overpowered. We're on the side of God Almighty. And we're on the right side. We're on the correct side. And we're gonna stay on that narrow path, no matter what. Because this life is fleeting. And it's gonna be worth it in the end. So God bless you. Stay encouraged in the Lord. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.